Embattled St. Louis Circuit Attorney Kim Gardner facing today's deadline to respond to the Missouri's Attorney General's demand to oust her from office. Gardner has hired a lawyer with high profile clients to represent her, but at this point her response has not been filed with the courts. Fox News' Elliot Davis joins us now with details. Elliot? Well, Shirley, right now we are waiting for Gardner to file her answer to the uh, Attorney General. Her office indicates that she will have a reply. Her lawyer will be able to file it online, so she may be able to do it anytime before midnight tonight. The Missouri Attorney General wants her out of office. Gardner filed a motion, though, uh, beforehand saying who she's hiring as her lawyer. She wants Harvard Law School professor Ronald Sullivan as her attorney. I obtained this copy of Gartner's court filing where she's asking the Missouri Supreme Court to allow an out-of-town lawyer, Ronald Sullivan, to act as her attorney. Sullivan, a Harvard Law professor, is shown here with Kim Gartner when he worked with her on her prosecution of former Governor Eric Greitens. Sullivan has been involved in some high-profile clients, including Harvey Weinstein, who was brought up on sex charges. Sullivan left that case before Weinstein's conviction. He represented New England Patriot Aaron Hernandez, who was acquitted in a double murder. Scott Rosenblum worked on the other side of Sullivan. He was on the Greitens defense team. I think he's a good lawyer. Um, he was the special prosecutor when I defended the governor and he handled jury selection, as did I. Gartner must answer the long list of allegations from Missouri Attorney General Andrew Bailey, who wants her out of office. Among other things in his lawsuit, the AG accuses her of failing to do her job in the case of Janae Edmondson, the teenager who lost her legs when a man out on bond caused a near fatal accident. The AG says she didn't move to revoke Daniel Rowley's bond despite more than 90 violations. The Attorney General's lawsuit further says that Gartner failed to prosecute cases to resolution and that she failed to confer with victims. Also, the lawsuit says she failed to review 3,000 cases submitted by police. His lawsuit says there are 200 cases of first and second degree murder and manslaughter still pending. When you say you think he may have a good case, why do you think so? I don't think it's one event or one act or one uh, um, malfeasance or misfeasance. I think it's an accumulation of, of negligence. But Zaki Baruti, whose group has held multiple demonstrations supporting Kim Gartner, is against the Attorney General's lawsuit. Do you think the Attorney General has a good case against Kim Gartner? Absolutely not. And uh, I actually believe that this is an effort to uh, be revengeful for Kim Gardner being audacious enough to charge the uh, former governor at uh, Greiden. Now, the attorney general's lawsuit is demanding, of course, that Gardner, as we said, respond by today. He is requesting that a judge then hold a hearing to oust her from office. But right now, we're just waiting for that uh, response. Also, in the filing concerning her lawyer, uh, Gardner indicates that she plans to act as her own co-counsel in the case. Elliot Davis, Fox 2 News.